All right, let's go ahead and get started. I want to welcome you back to Unit 15. This is acid-base equilibria and buffers. So I want to take a look at this problem. Last time we were looking at this idea of hydrolysis, and we said that, that the, the ion that came from the weaker parent was the one that underwent hydrolysis. So let's see if we can use this idea to help us to, uh, to, to understand this question. Here's what it says. It says, to predict the products when KCN is added to water. Will the pH of the solution formed when the salt is added to water be greater or less than 7? All right, so what's the, what's the, the, the ion that's produced from this salt? Because we know this is a salt. KCN is coming from two parents. Well, what's the ion that's produced from this salt? Well, it's CN minus. So let's have that ion undergo hydrolysis. So here we go. We have CN minus plus H2O. And which way is the... The uh, ion going to, or the hydrogen going to go. The proton is going to go this way, right? It's going to go from the water to the CN minus. We're going to get HCN, cyanic acid, and OH minus. So what did we produce? We produced OH minus. So that means that the pH is going to be greater than seven, right? The pH is going to be um, basic, right? So I'll put basic right here. So KCN would be a basic salt, in, a basic salt. Okay? All right, let's take a look at number 13. It says, write the dissociation equation that describes what happens when CH3NH3Cl uh, is added to water. Now, we want to distinguish between a dissociation equation, right, and a hydrolysis. Dissociation simply means we drop the salt into water and it dissociates in the ions. So this is that dissociation equation. CH3NH3Cl is going to dissociate in the presence of water. I'll just put H2O above the arrow right there. In the Cl minus CH3NH3 plus. Now, if one of these is going to go under, undergo hydrolysis, then it's going to undergo hydrolysis. Or if it's not, it's not going to happen. But, but I want you to be able to distinguish between a dissociation reaction and a hydrolysis reaction, right? A dissociation and a hydrolysis reaction. All right, now... Let me, and this is going to kind of set us up for the next problem. And that is, which one of these two ions, then, do you think is going to come from a weaker parent? Okay. Well, hydrochloric acid was probably the acid that produced, well, not probably, it is the acid that produced Cl minus, right? Right. So this, was, this is going to be the strong acid, right? And this is going to be the weaker one. Okay. Now, let's move to the next problem. Number 14 says, write the equation which describes the acidic character of CH3NH3A+. Okay? So that tells us that this is the one that's going to have the acidic character. They're telling me in the problem that this is the one that's going to have the acidic character. So let me write the hydrolysis reaction using the CH3NH3+. So I have CH3NH3 plus plus H2O in equilibrium with CH3. Which way is the, the, uh, the proton going to go? It's going to go this way, right? It's going to go from there to there. So I have CH3NH2 plus H3O plus, right? So this is the hydrolysis reaction. What am I forming? H3O plus. So that's demonstrating the acidic character then of the CH3NH3 plus. And then they say write the equilibrium expression and calculate Ka for the CH3NH3+. Well, I, I'm not given any numbers, so all I can do is write the expression. So I'll do that much anyway. So Ka then is equal to products over reactants. So I'm going to say CH3NH2 uh, concentration times H3O plus concentration over CH3NH3 plus concentration. And that'll do it for that one. Okay. All right, folks, we've got everything we need now to be able to determine the pH of salts. So what I'd like to do then is give you a chance to just work this on your own, see if you can figure it out using rice tables or whatever it is that you think you need to do to figure this problem out. And then on the next video, we'll uh, confirm uh, your correct answers and we'll take it from there. So here's the first question I want you to take a look at before you watch the next video. Number 15 says, calculate the pH of a 0 
molar sodium acetate solution. The Ka for the for sodium acetate is, or the so, excuse me, the Ka for acetic acid is 1.8 times 10 to the negative 5. So take a look at that one, and then take a look at this one and see if you can work number 16. And this one says this. It says calculate the pH of the following salt solutions. We've got a 0 0.777 molar ammonium chloride solution, right? So we'll start with that one right there. That's just A. I just rewrote it there. 0 0.777 molar NH4Cl. I want you to do 0 0.0345 molar KCl. And I want you to do 0 0.411 molar KC2H3O2. Okay? And that should do it. And so I'll see you in the next video. Try those. See how you do with them. And if you have questions, I'll, we'll take care of them next time. Thanks.